Okay, welcome to the deep dive. We've got some really interesting sources you send over, and uh, today we're tackling that question. India's fighter jet choice. Right, the Rafale versus the Su-57 puzzle. Exactly. Why the French Rafale, which, you know, hasn't exactly swept NATO, and why step back from the Russian Su-57 project they were initially involved in. Yeah, it's a good question. So our mission here is basically to unpack the why behind these decisions using the information you've provided. Let's get into it. So the Rafale first. Okay, yeah. So the interesting thing about the Rafale um, is where it came from. France actually developed it. Well, they, they pulled out of the Eurofighter Typhoon project. They weren't satisfied with it. Apparently not fully. The sources suggest they felt the Typhoon wasn't quite hitting their specific requirements, so they decided to, you know, go it alone. Right, charting their own path. And that seems to have, well paid off in some ways. The Rafale's performance record is mentioned. It is. Uh, the sources highlight it's done pretty well in exercises, sometimes even outperforming NATO jets like the Typhoon itself or F-16s, the Gripper. So this idea that NATO just dismissed it isn't really the whole story. Not entirely, no. I mean, you have to consider the bigger picture. A lot of NATO countries have very strong ties to the U.S. defense industry. Ah, right. The U.S. influence. Exactly. U.S. diplomacy, the deals they offer, that often pushes things towards American fighters, yeah. almost regardless of how a competitor like the Rafale stacks up technically. Okay, that makes sense. And connecting that to India, well, India doesn't typically buy U.S. fighters, historically speaking. That's a key point from the sources, yeah. It kind of opens the door for France in competitions like the MRCA, that big fighter aircraft tender. A medium multi-role combat aircraft deal. Yeah. yeah. They even turned down a U.S. offer, the F-21, didn't they? They did. And in that competition, the Rafale ended up beating out the SAB Gripen and Russia's Su-35. But it wasn't just the plane itself, was it? There were other factors. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. The sources probably detail the strategic relationship. France's support for India at the UN Security Council, for example. That's huge political capital. Consistent support, yeah. The, yeah. Things like technology transfer, counterterrorism cooperation. These build trust. Definitely. And don't forget, the Indian Air Force already flew French jets, the Mirage 2000. They had good experience with them. So familiarity and proven support, that's a strong combination. It really is. Okay, so that covers the RAL side. Now, what about the Su-57? Why did India back away from that, especially after being a partner initially? Well, it's kind of like the French experience with the Typhoon, but from India's perspective. The sources suggest India ran into similar issues, concerns about the Su-57's actual capabilities, its features. And supply chain problems, too, I think that was mentioned. Yes. Critically, supply chain reliability seemed to have been a major sticking point. Co-development projects like this are incredibly complex. So those issues piled up, and India decided to withdraw from the partnership. That seems to be the conclusion from the sources, yes. They pulled out of the joint fifth-gen fighter program. It's also interesting that even Russia itself hasn't bought huge numbers of Su-57s yet. That's true. Mm -hmm. Which, you know might reinforce India's decision in hindsight. It suggests maybe the platform wasn't quite ready or meeting expectations. So looking ahead, India's focusing inward now, developing their own fifth gen fighter. Exactly. The plan seems to be for HAL, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, to develop an indigenous fighter, maybe targeting around 2029. And Russia has the Sukhoi 70 checkmate coming up too, I think. Yeah, that's mentioned as their next potential fifth gen offering. So if we pull all this together, India's choice seems less like just picking a plane off the shelf. Definitely not. It's a blend. The Rafale offered proven performance and uh, a strong strategic partnership with France. And on the other side, the Su-57 had concerns about its features, the supply reliability, plus India's own growing ambition for self-reliance. Precisely. Building their own indigenous defense capability is clearly a major strategic goal. The problems with the Su-57 probably just strengthened that resolve. So ultimately, the Rafale ticked more boxes, performance, partnership, past experience, while the Su-57 path raised too many questions and clashed with India's push for its own tech. Yeah, that sums it up pretty well based on the sources. Which really leaves you thinking, doesn't it? It yeah. makes you consider how much these huge procurement decisions are tangled up in strategic alliances, national ambitions, and, well, the drive for technological independence. It's never just about the hardware itself. Absolutely. It's that constant balancing act, you know, mm -hmm. proven international options versus building your own capabilities in a really critical area like defense. Something to ponder. 